Hi, I'm Toby from AbletonDrummer.com and I want to show you how you can tempo sync Ableton to a drum synthesizer or to a drum machine. So you're obviously gonna need a drum machine, you will need an external audio interface to send the audio from this drum machine or from this drum synth to Ableton Live. I'm using the Cork Volker drum here and I have it connected via the mini jack out going into my sound card on channel 5 and 6. So the channels you plugged it into are really important because you need to set this up to Ableton Live to the follow tempo feature. So in Ableton Live you need to go into your preferences and you need to select Link Tempo MIDI and here you need to switch on the Tempo Follower feature. So now it's being shown up here and it can be activated and deactivated. So the next step would be to select the right input channels and I, as I just said I have channel 5 and 6 of my audio sound card where my cork worker drum is running into. So you can check this by just playing a little bit and you can see there is some audio coming in. So the next step now would be to give Ableton Live some sort of tempo reference because tempo follower will detect the tempo right if you're setting a four on the floor kick drum from your drum machine. You will be fine in most cases but it might double or do a halftime tempo because it's thinking like oh i'm close to 160 so i make 160 out of it or maybe it will make 40 bpm or 40 out of it but your actual tempo might be 80 bpm so there are a few ways on doing this so in my example here i got just a few stock um, loops here And let's set them up somewhere on 170, around 170. Obviously, obviously really fast. So let's have a listen to the tempo and to the beat on the Cork Walker drum. So you already can notice the tempo here is much slower. So if I now press follow, um, follow tempo is activated and is getting this input and is trying to analyze the tempo from the cork Volca drum. So in purpose I'm setting the tempo quite high and just gonna switch on the drum beat and now I'm gonna switch on follow tempo and it's jumping down really quick you can see this really quick as soon as I pressed it it's jumping down to around 160 bpm so let's have a listen on how this sounds 160 bpm and i'm start my transport my playback from ableton live on the next one for and you can hear it's having the same tempo but um, actually the tempo follow action analyzed it as double time so 160 bpm instead of 80 what the cork worker drum actually is playing so you could tap in a tempo at the tap button here but you can see it's jumping around quite a bit because it's a computer it's analyzing your taps very accurate so what you could do is you could use one of my max for live devices which gives you the opportunity to tap in the tempo first finding the right tempo and then fire the tempo. So the device works like this, the playback, the transport is playing. I tap in the tempo I want to find and I can actually um, switch on a flash tempo light here so I can actually see which tempo I'm putting in here. So the tempo is not being sent to the master BPM of Ableton Live. It's sent when I press fire here. And this way um, it gives me some time to find the right tempo and sync the tempo a little bit better to the starting point here as well. So let's give it a try. I'm starting my cork walker drum. I'm tapping in the tempo. And I can 
monitor with the flashing light here if I'm all right. I'm a little bit too fast. This will do the job for starting for starting point and fire. You can hear that it's still not like 100% in sync and that where follow tempo comes into play. So let's switch on follow tempo here now. Let's play the beat from the Cork Walker. And now I'm starting the transport and it's playing into the same tempo. And you can see here that Ableton Live is constantly analyzing smaller tempo fluctuations which are happening here because uh, tempo and BPM and metrom is not always 100%. So the nice thing here now is I can actually change the tempo on my cork worker drum and Ableton Live will follow. So let's do this really slowly. You can hear that Ableton Live is picking up when I change the tempo. I wrote a guide about how to use tempo follow and general tempo concepts in Ableton Live. You can download this for free. Just follow the link below in the video description and you will get the link there as well to the Tempo Max for Live devices collection I created and I released seven devices and the tap and change is one of those.